just want to say a massive thank you for everyone coming out. Like, it's actually Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Thank you. Come on, Come on. When we got off the bus and we started meeting people there, uh, I mean, we expected this, but then you saw. This was a YouTuber fans. Uh, meeting, meeting. Yeah. <laughs> YouTuber, YouTuber fans with a twist, not normal YouTuber fans, but runners. You're right. Yeah, there were runners many, and, uh, many super fans. Yeah, many <laughs> super fans that were maybe running for the first time or the second time, or maybe they started running because of us. Yeah, this was yeah. a very uh, impressive, different. very, very impressive thing to see. Many people were there. Uh, trying to do, uh, hoping to do their first uh, marathon. Mm. Yeah. You could see there uh, hundreds and thousands of miles from uh, uh, Europe and uh, the USA, where people from all around the world. These people are dedicated and now they want to They were run. excited anyway. They were excited and now they <laughs> the want to run their first, sky high. <laughs> their first marathon. Yeah, many people, many people from the UK yeah, Russia yeah, from course, the UK. Of course, many people from the UK. And some people from the USA. We've met people from. Uh, and uh, all over Europe, of course. Germany. And Canada. Netherlands, Italy, Denmark, Norway. Yeah. I've heard there are people from Sweden. From Africa as well? Yes, from Africa from as well. From Tunisia. As well. Somebody was from uh, Brazil. Okay. From the United States, from Canada. Really good turnout. There was a big confusion uh, regarding. Where would Ras come from? From which side uh, of the town? Yeah. Yeah. I was betting from the right and there was a girl near me and she was saying, yeah, I have the... Of course, we all, ha all had the Strava, the Strava runs from uh, Ras. And she said, yeah, here is where he stopped. He's probably coming from that way. And then uh, I went on the right towards the, the direction we were supposed to run. Because on the, from the left we came in, I think, from Bizerte. Before us, uh, Nelly first came in and we got to see... Uh, Nelly the van. Ladies and gents, you <laughs> bet, baby. <laughs> Let's take a look, see boys. Nelly the van, we got to see Gus for the first time, Stan and uh, Jamie. And then Russ came in and he said hello and then he started running, everybody was running, so, yeah. And we got split up because you ran faster than me. Mm -hmm. What's for you? I didn't see Russ, I just started to run because everybody started to run. Yeah. And people were, uh, were saying that something is happening. Yeah, people let's, were starting rumors. Let's, let's, rumors. Let's, let's run this way, okay? Uh, and uh, I pushed myself a bit too hard in the first uh, kilometers. It was hot, but not unbearable. Some people around me uh, said that maybe Russ stayed behind or he's way, way, way much uh, ahead. He's running alone, so the guys can uh, film him. And we are doing the marathon on, on our own, so I had no idea. Uh, no, it was cooler <laughs> than that. Uh, potato. Just this is the highest top of head. Probably filming for the next episode. The final episode? Nelly again, Harry.
Hey Stan, thank you for everything. Thank you. There's some crazy traffic situation here. Some guys are filming and the locals are trying to pass by. It's wild. Ah, ah. This man is a monster. There was a, a f***ed up scene when everybody uh, took a wrong turn. Uh, I think... Maybe they, kilometers 15? Uh, yeah, they went straight ahead when they should have uh, taken a left turn. And all of a sudden, from the front uh, running group, I was the first. The guys are waiting for us there. Later in the videos, when I saw the videos, uh, I was very embarrassed like because the, it was a scene. Uh, I think Jamie was trying to film a commercial. Um, Russ was behind me. I didn't see that Gus was yelling uh, at me. <laughs> I was fucked up. Yeah, we all and knew in the group we need to keep Russ in the front. We don't want to uh, step yeah. in front of him. But because uh, everybody took a wrong turn, you were suddenly in the front and you didn't know that Russ was behind you for like maybe two minutes. Um, it's weird, I don't know how to explain it, but stupid. It's no. funny to look mm. back upon it. Yeah. And that was your experience, you're yeah, running until the halfway point. Yeah. For me, yeah, you were in the front, I was in the back. At some point we all took off really fast. We took up really fast. We are already on the move. The kids didn't even stop. Maybe only for 15 seconds. And then he took off. And we are all just trying to catch up. And then uh, I started saying, yeah, this place is too fast for me. So I slowed down. It was also hard. At some point I, was, I looked behind me and there was only one other person <laughs> behind me. <laughs> and I said, no, no. I was feeling also really bad. I don't know why, all of a sudden. But I told, I told myself, yeah, steady, steady goes and uh, let's try and pick up people. <laughs> and yeah, I, I did, I slowly uh, started catching people up and uh, actually yeah it was a shock the heat the heat was uh, a bit of a shock but actually the first part was the hardest pa hardest part for me but it was the flattest part yeah really the like the mm -hmm. first 15 mm -hmm. k's were flat afterwards we knew there was some elevation but we thought yeah that's only like 300 meter of elevation no 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 after the 15 kilometer marks, there were only hills, only hills and then trails. Oh, I was expecting a road marathon, but there were trails after that. Actually, for, Funny. for people who weren't uh, professional runners or for people who didn't want to destroy themselves or for people who just can't run that fast, the second part of the course was uh, very nice because you had a lot of hills and you could walk. Yeah, you could walk. You the could hills. walk up the hill, and it was very relaxing. And you had somebody to talk with and yeah, take a breather, take that heart uh, heart rate a bit down. In the first 16 kilometers, up until the first stop. break point, yeah, the first the first stop. I thought that we wouldn't have the uh, capability to refill our water bottles. Everybody, Mike here is offering us a helping hand. He's saving us, offering water to everybody. Stop here. Legend. So in the first kilometers, I ran fast and I didn't drink enough water. Mm. That was not good. Yeah, you're talking about the stops. You know, uh, Russ stopped at the half marathon point, the 10 kilometer point and the 5 kilometer oh, point. Come round, come round, come round. <laughs> okay. How are you doing? Great! How are you doing? Oh, yeah. Um, 
Like just want to make sure everyone can hear me. There's, there was a guy earlier who pushed himself a little bit hard in this heat, passed out, he's now in an ambulance. So we just wanted to make sure everyone knows, like, don't do anything silly. If you're getting a bit hot, stop. There's plenty of cars around, jump in the car, they'll take you to the finish. Drink plenty of water. Like, we don't want anyone dying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> terrible look for us. Definitely. Um, please try not to die. Uh, but aside from that, just want to say a massive thank you for everyone coming out. Like, it's actually. Yeah. Come on, come on, thank you. Come on, come on, come on. I can't really get my head around how this many people are in chat. <laughs> um, but we're going to tear it up for this last half -y. Um So, like, top vibes out there, uh, and we'll get this thing finished. Let's go! Come on! Let's go! Ross, how long till you go? Right, I'm just going to fill my water up. <laughs> Get this man a duckery. Yeah, Anyone needs some back to 50? <laughs> you need it, yeah. man. <laughs> that was really nice. He waited for all the people to come in and then mm -hmm. uh, he started again. That was really nice because everybody got a chance to see Ross. But the people who wanted to run only 10 kilometers, yeah? They had to come, how was it? They had to come with the bus somewhere and then walk three kilometers in the middle of nowhere and then run the 10 kilometers because the bus couldn't get at the 10 kilometer point. Some people took their rental cars there. These are the roads that the rentals have to put up with here. <laughs> Pretty brutal. When the whole run became a trail run, uh, it actually turned into something very beautiful. It, yeah. it actually turned into a running course that we like. Yeah, because and we, we love. Are, we are not used to run uh, road marathons. 31 kilometers. Really? Really? Well, mine shows 31. Mine but I started with 500 meters uh, later, so 31 and a half. That's great. That's awesome. About the halfway point, that's where uh, the road disappeared. <laughs> the asphalt, the, the, the tarmac the disappeared. Tarmac. And then we and took off into the forest or uh, there was sand, uh, trails, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some people missed the five kilometers. Some people, <laughs> it was a little, a little bit confusing because uh, uh, Russ shared uh, a route. Okay. And then uh, for the five kilometers, he took some kind of shortcut in the forest. Yeah, for the forest some on people, the small trail. And some people, some people took people, off on the road. Uh-huh. And uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're taking a shortcut. An unexpected shortcut. In 45 kilometers, you got to experience what a trail run in a Muslim country feel, uh, feels like. Beautiful yeah. buildings, we've seen some uh, uncapped buildings as well, but mostly it was uh, very nice. Mm. It's a very positive uh, experience. It was beautiful, and remember when you came uh, over that hill before, maybe before the five kilometer the mark, the sea. you came, uh, you come That's on top of the road. hill and you see the the sea, and mm -hmm. that was an emotional moment for us. We see it in the video again mm -hmm. on the mm -hmm. in the YouTube videos. You come you come on top of the hill and then you go down and then you see the sea view yeah. and you start to feel a little bit of that wind. We were the we breeze. were waiting, yeah. <laughs> waiting for that wind because it was mm. so hot. And yeah, that's when we started feeling a little bit of. Uh, refreshment. Uh, for those who watched his videos, you see how uh, much meaning is uh, attached 
this moment because he's been talking about this moment for so long. How often do you do you catch yourself thinking about Tunisia? Daily. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I can't you know, imagine. For, I can't for so imagine. long, uh, the, uh, since he started uh, the project, yeah. Yeah, this was the finish line, you know. Yeah, go watch uh, his last video because it's really worth it. It's very emotional, and you can see how many people turn out. Turn yeah. out and uh, impressive. And to better to get a better feel for the last video, watch the whole series yeah, <laughs> on his channel. I mean, it's amazing. It's such a how many great nights we had. Yeah, it's such a um, wonderful journey.